Our first guest tonight is here to talk about security measures, the violent threats against lawmakers. Our guest says Congress should consider allowing its members to carry guns, always to protect themselves. And joining us tonight is Congressman Dave Bratt. He's a member of the Freedom Caucus. He also serves on the House Budget Committee. Congressman, good to have you with us. I, I know that there has to be a, a, a somberness that uh, uh, is uh, filling the atmosphere at the Capitol. Uh, your, th your thoughts tonight, uh, if you will, on uh, what, uh, on what uh, we should be doing to better protect our, our uh, elected uh, officials, uh, particularly in the House and the Senate. Yeah, well, Lou, uh, I think you know I've got a seminary background. The best thing we can do to protect uh, all of us is to change the environment uh, philosophically and ethically uh, across the country, right? Uh, the kids are growing up uh, without learning ethics, and uh, it's starting to show up in reality. And so we need to get serious again. And get back to first principles, just the golden rule. Uh, it, that, that rule uh, survives the scrutiny of Western Civ and Eastern Civ. And uh, we all need to love each other and uh, treat each other as we want to be treated. And then after that, your, your rationality has to kick in. And in this environment, uh, we've got to all start thinking through. Uh, where are we going next? Uh, who we meet with? If we're meeting with groups of congressmen, uh, and women and senators, et cetera. Uh, we need to plan way ahead of time at town halls. We need to get uh, engaged better. Our uh, local law enforcement does a tremendous job, sheriffs, police, firefighters, and first responders. But we need to communicate with them, tell them, hey, we're, we're going to be here. Uh, we need some eyes on the ground. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do. And so mm -hmm. it, in the past, it's kind of, you know, there's a risk assessment that's done, and no one's uh, threatened your life uh, explicitly. Uh, well, that's no longer good enough. Now the, the risk is out there, and we see it. And so we need to plan accordingly. You know, Congressman, I, I agree with everything you say. Yeah. I, I, I do think it's important that we take note that the left in this country is trying to kill America. Uh, it is a, a wonderful thing to speak of unity and, and uh, joining hands. But what we are watching in, in play now is an outright assault on the President of the United States by the left, by the uh, most extreme wings of the Democratic Party, uh, who have vowed uh, that they will fight through uh, uh, talking about Russian collusion irrespective of no evidence, no facts, uh, through the midterm elections because they find that to their uh, political advantage. Uh, Congressman, I think we've got to be very realistic about what we are w witnessing here. Yeah. which is a contest, a struggle, a battle uh, for the values of this country uh, and for the, the government, the government of this, uh, this great nation uh, that is under assault. No, that's right, Lou. And uh, I, I didn't come to this position uh, lately. I got a book, if you have a hard time sleeping at night, it's called American Underdog. I outlined the three pillars that made this country great. Uh, first, without which you don't get anything else, is the Judeo-Christian tradition and then the rule of law, and then free markets. And for the past 40 years in academia, uh, we have a philosophical school called Deconstruction. They're deconstructing the Judeo-Christian tradition, natural law theory, the Catholic tradition. They're deconstructing the rule of law. Police are now called disgusting terms, and free markets are, are just you know, reviled every night uh, across the news. So all the pillars that have made us uh, great are being reviled by the and, and you know you said it just right it's the hard left it's not my democrat friends they go to church with me the members up here we all get along uh, but the negative ads we need to have set some ethical rules and challenge each other across the aisle hey you can hit as hard as you want on policy mm -hmm. but you don't hit people you don't hit people ever we uh, we're just human beings we have families we have wives we have kids uh, we love each other and uh, we got to set some ethical rules and boundaries uh, that both sides have to live up to. Congressman Dave Bratt, I think that you have uh, summed up the situation neatly. Uh, the problem is that we're dealing with something that's a bit of a mess beyond uh, even those, uh, those boundaries. Yeah, uh, you're right. 